plan your escape. Beach, bay, or both. Sun rises and sun sets daily. Memories made all day. Get outdoors, hit the water. Live music and great food round out your visit. So why wait? SoPadre.com Our first evening on South Padre Island started off with a reception where we traded some of the SBI hospitality with some stories and songs. Well, hey there, Mr. Tin Man. I'm glad we talked this out. Go on, take mine if you want it. It's in pieces now. We hit the Laguna Madre Bayside Entertainment District to catch some live music, meet some of the local musicians, and learn a little bit more about what makes the South Padre Island music scene special. There were songwriters Mark Allen Atwood and J. Michael Lafferty swapping tunes at Laguna Bob, Nathan Hubble at Tequila Sunset, and Dr. Zog over at Coconut Jack's all on a Monday night and all of them were doing their own brand of original live music. We caught up with Robbie and Danielle White, also known as the Whites of Texas, over at the Upper Deck, one of their weekly residencies to get their story of how they made South Padre Island their new home. So you packed up yeah, and said, hey, it's time for a change. Yeah, we had to do something different, yeah. Wow, that's bold, that's courageous. It was scary, man. It was scary. We, uh, we sold everything we'd been working for our whole lives. We pushed all our chips to the middle of the table. And uh, we came down here just hoping we could dig in and build a life. We knew there were, there were a bunch of uh, live music down here, venues down here. We knew there were a bunch of places to play. And, uh, you know, we just thought, you know, if we can go down there and just dig in, maybe we can, you know, uh, find enough shows to, to make a life down there. And um, the way it's all turned out has just blown us away. You know, we were hoping to get four or five shows a month and, and uh, the people here have been so kind to us and have embraced us so that uh, we, you know, we, we pretty much have as many shows as we want, we want to, and we get to sleep in our own bed every night. It's like Branson, you know. It's like it's fantastic. It's, it's, you know, it's, uh, makes me make me want to move down here myself. <laughs> Dude, don't, don't do that. I can't keep up with you. Yeah, I'll come steal your money. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Just kidding, man. <laughs> to say they've embraced us and been been kind to us is an understatement. You know, it's like. We've got a whole new family down here, you know. It's incredible. I think I just fell in love with the whites. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> My buddy and fellow songwriter Dan Dyer and I bounced over to Coconut Jack's, chat up Dr. Zog in between his Monday night sets to see how this Texas transient landed on SPI. So how do you like it? Be, how do you like living down here? I love the island life. I grew up Gulf Coast. I, I lived for a, uh, in the summers with my family at Crystal Beach. So I always had the Gulf Coast in my veins and the salt and the, the sea, and I love it. I love the ocean. So when I came here to play some gigs, I just said, I'm, I'm hanging. So this is what I do, and I love it. It's um, it's a different world, but hey, we're still playing music. We're still doing what we love to do, right? Nathan Hubble and I sat down at the Keyless Sunset before his acoustic set. The conversation turned to his backstory and how South Padre Island's vibe lured him into becoming a permanent resident. You still smell the smells and... Absolutely. Yeah, I take the, I mean, I, this is my office, so the sunsets, I play it four or five places on the bay, and that's the sunsets every day, and even while I'm doing a gig, I'm like, hold on, hold on, I'll turn around and take a picture. <laughs> like, I gotta take a tourist picture, because I've seen thousands of the sunsets, and I've never seen two the same. They're all just perfect and magical every day. How do you like it? I love it. And I was afraid that that the, the chill vibe and the nuances that I caught from my one week would be lost in, in all of the rush of just being an island person. But it's not, it's the same. No one knows what day it is. Everyone, I never wear shoes and flip flops and I kick them off to play music and I love it. It's my favorite thing. <laughs> You're kind of making me jealous. You should come, you should come hang out. After meeting the locals, Seeing some incredible sights, feeling some vibes, and checking out the full variety of live music venues, it's easy to see how music fans and musicians alike 
Fall in love with a true Texas treasure that is South Padre Island. Coming up next, we got more of this. We got more of this. Some more nibbling on sponge cake from South Padre Island on the Texas music scene.